And it is not just the White House that will be seeing a change in power. For the first time in 95 years, Republicans will control the Kentucky House in Frankfurt. Here's a look at the new balance of power. The Republicans now have a 64 to 35 seat margin, with Ron, one race still too close to call. One person who is elated about the huge wins in the Kentucky Republican Party is Governor Matt Bevan. We caught up with the governor this morning. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is live in Frankfurt now to explain where Bevan wants to take the Commonwealth from here now that he uh, should have a clearer shot. Good afternoon. We are here in Frankfurt just outside of the legislative chambers. The House chamber in particular will be taking on a much different look after last night's election with Republicans taking control for the first time in nearly a century. This election cycle with all 100 House seats up for election, the Republican Party set a goal to flip the House. Last night achieving that goal, taking the majority for the first time since 1921, joining the already Republican-controlled state Senate. Also big news for the state out of last night's results is the defeat of longtime House Speaker Democrat Greg Stumbo. Now it is no secret that Stumbo and Governor Matt Bevin have had their fair share of differences. I, I was delighted to see him defeated because he's been an obstacle. He truly has been a stumbling block, all pun intended, to the Commonwealth. Uh, for a long time. Now, Bevin says last night's results showed that the people of Kentucky want change and want to be heard. The governor says this truly is a new day here in Frankfurt and for the entire state. And he says today he is the happiest politically that he's ever been in his entire life. Live in Frankfurt, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Thank you very much, Hillary. And the man who is expected to take Greg Stumbo's spot, Speaker-elect Jeff Hoover, that is, if he's selected by his caucus, will be holding a news conference in about 30 minutes alongside Senate President Robert Stivers.